This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I wrap an image around a ZBrush sphere? Now this question was sent with a image map. So here I have the image. So taking this map here of a moon, and I want to wrap it around a sphere inside a ZBrush. So then I can use it for texturing or even apply different deformation effects. So how can I go by doing that? So this process is pretty simple. So I'm going to go back into ZBrush here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a sphere primitive. So I'm going to navigate to the tool palette over here. I'm going to click on any of the tools in this menu. And then I'm going to locate the sphere 3D object. And then I'm just going to simply click that. So this should look something like this after it loads in. And now I just need to turn this into a poly mesh. So I'm going to come to the tool palette over here and simply click make poly mesh 3D. Now this primitive already has UV coordinates associated with it. So what this means is that I can go to the texture palette over here and open this up. And then when I click on this texture map tab and pick any texture that's in here, you're gonna see that this is already going to be wrapped around that sphere. So what I can do if I wanna wrap that specific moon image, I just need to import that image in. So I'm gonna go to the texture palette up here. I'm gonna click import. I'm gonna select that map and then open it up. And now this texture has now been loaded into the texture palette. After this is loaded inside of ZBrush, I just need to go back over to the tool palette over here, come down to this texture map area, click on this texture area here, and then select that map. So now you can see I have the moon image here has been loaded. And if I zoom out and say switch to a material like Skin Shade 4, you can see that this is wrapped perfectly around the sphere now. So I've just taken that image and applied it directly to the Sphere 3D primitive, and now I'm getting a result like so. From here, I can divide this up if I like. So I can just come to the Geometry tab here and start dividing this up to say subdivision 4 or 5, which is going to give me around 2 million polygons. I can then use the information from this map as a mask if I like. So I can go to the masking area over here and go to Mask by Color and do a Mask by Intensity. And now if I come and turn the texture off, you're gonna see that the sphere now has that map applied as a mask on the model. And with this being masked, I can now go a little bit further with this and use this to deform the sphere. So I go to the deformation palette here, open this up and do something like an inflate. And you're seeing I'm gonna be able to use that texture map that was wrapped around that sphere to start generating some different effects. So I've just taken that map and applied it as a mask, and then I use the inflate to inflate the unmasked details. So now I can turn off the mask here, and I'm gonna get a moon like so. I'm gonna go back to the, say, the texture map panel here and turn texture on. And so now not only do I have that map wrapping around the sphere, but I also have some surface detailing around it. So I've used that masking from the texture there to start giving me a little more surface variation. So that is the process to simply take a map and wrap it around a Sphere 3D primitive inside of ZBrush. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!